Hey guys, so we got my bonus daughter's Ancestry DNA results back, so I'm going to share those with you today. I also thought it would be interesting to see how half sibling DNA looks, so we will take a look at that as well. This should be a good video, so let's get started. Before we get started with the DNA results and comparisons, I want to remind you of the book we are reading this month as part of the book club. It's called Dancing with the Truth by Christine Jacobson, and it is about Christine who grew up believing she was white, finding out as an adult that her real father was African American, a discovery Christine came across after receiving her Ancestry DNA results. You can order your copy of the book from Amazon.com. I will be doing an episode talking about the book in the near future, so if you would like to be a part of that panel, leave me a comment and let me know. I also plan to interview Christine about her story in an upcoming episode, so stay tuned for that as well. I took a little break from the Ancestry videos as Life with Dr. Trish has been busy. We took a family vacation, I participated in the hooding ceremony for my PhD, and I have started a new job. I do cover other things besides Ancestry on my channel. So make sure to check out my vlogs if you're interested in what I've been up to. If you're new to my channel, I focus on three things in my videos, discovery, life, and inspiration. If you're interested in any of those things, go ahead and subscribe and also consider hitting the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post new content. Our ancestry journey falls under my discovery segment. We have an interesting ancestry journey life playlist. There are several interesting videos, so make sure to check it out if you haven't done so already. I also update the playlist regularly, so come back to check it out periodically. In my immediate family, my husband and I took the ancestry DNA test. We also tested five of our children. We are a blended family. Only two of the five kids are full siblings. We have discussed everyone's results in previous videos except for Sydney, who is my bonus daughter, and Dee, who is my oldest biological child. I will be presenting Sydney's results in this video and Dee's results in the next video. D will be joining me to present his results, so that should be fun. So make sure you don't miss it. Now let's take a look at Sydney's results and then we will compare them to Peyton's and Karis's results. Here are Sydney's results from Ancestry DNA. Sydney is 13 and she is Devin's daughter from a previous relationship. As a reminder, we discovered a few months ago that my husband Devin has a large percentage of Eastern European DNA. Our daughters together, Peyton and Karis, inherited sizable portions of that DNA as well. So it's not surprising to see that Sydney also inherited the Eastern European ancestry. Ancestry shows the highest matching country first and then lists each country from highest matching percentage to lowest. As a note, Africa is a continent and not a country, so you may see some European countries higher in the list than some African countries. As an example, Sydney's highest percentage comes from Nigeria at 29%, Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples at 25%, Eastern Europe and Russia at 16%, Ivory Coast and Ghana at 10%, England and Northwestern Europe at 7%, Benin and Togo at 3%, Baltics at 3%, Mali at 2%, 
Senegal at 1%, Ireland at 1%, Sweden and Denmark at 1%, Southern Bantu Peoples 1%, and Wales 1%. So as you can see, just like with all of our family members we have presented, Sydney has diverse Ancestry DNA results. According to Ancestry DNA, Sydney is 71% African and 29% European. Here is a breakdown of total African versus European versus Native American Ancestry for every family member we have tested thus far. Sydney's half-sisters have overall percentages in the same range, but obviously show a somewhat different admixture as Sydney has a different mother than Peyton and Karis. Sydney and Peyton took the Ancestry DNA test. Ancestry DNA shows Peyton's overall percentages as 69% African and 31% European. My Heritage shows Karis' overall percentages as 64% African, 35.1% European, and 0.9% Asian. Peyton and Karis are the only full siblings out of all of our kids. I have already done a video comparing their DNA results. You can check it out from the link on the screen if you're interested in seeing that. I don't see a lot of people comparing half-sibling DNA, so I want to take the time to look at Sydney's DNA compared to Peyton's and Karis's. These DNA tests measure relatedness between individuals through centimorgans, or CMs for short. The higher the number of CMs, the closer the relationship should be. I like to use the shared CM tool from DNA Painter. Identical twins will have highest shared CMs since they share 100% of their DNA. As an FYI, fraternal twins will share CMs in the same range as regular full siblings. Unless you have an identical twin, you should share the most DNA with your parents. DNA Painter shows the range can be from 2,376 through 3,720 CMs, with the average being 3,485 CMs for a parent-child relationship. As an example, let's take a look at the number of CMs I share with each of the four children I birthed. Keep in mind too, during this comparison, that three of my children and I took the Ancestry DNA test, while my youngest daughter took the MyHeritage test. In case you're new or didn't catch me saying this previously, Karis took the MyHeritage test because she didn't want to spit in a tube, and MyHeritage uses swab kits. It's a Q-tip looking item that we use to swab the sides of Karis's cheeks. I mention this because since she's the only one who took a test from a different testing company, her shared CMs compared to the rest of us may look lower than what they might actually be. In Ancestry DNA, I share the most DNA with my daughter, Ye, 3,489 CMs, which is 50% shared DNA. I share 3,487 CMs with my son, D, which also shows a 50% shared DNA relationship. I share 3,486 CMs with my daughter Peyton, which is 50% shared DNA as well. Those differences are so minute that really you can say I share the same amount of DNA with all three of my children shown here. My father is also shown at the bottom. I share 3,374 CMs with him which also comes out to 50% shared DNA. 
the average CMs for a parent-child relationship, according to the DNA Painter CM tool, is 3,485. So these numbers are well within the range for a parent-child relationship. My heritage shows my close matches, i.e. my parents and children, as anywhere from 46% to 49% instead of the typical 50% match that a parent-child should have. Again, this is most likely because they use a different method of testing DNA than Ancestry DNA does, and most of us took the Ancestry DNA test. Anyway, my heritage shows Karis and I share 3,260.2 CMs, which is still in the range for a parent-child relationship, according to the DNA painter. It's just a lower number than my other children. As an FYI, all of Karis's close matches in my heritage show with lower percentages. To compare Sydney's, Peyton's, and Karis's sibling relationship, I used JADmatch. By the way, if you're not aware, you can download your raw data files from the major DNA testing companies and upload them into other sites like MyHeritage or JADmatch to do DNA comparisons on their sites. I have done a video on how to do this, so click on the link that pops up if you would like more information on that. So here is a JAD match screen. I'm looking at the one to many feature and I'm looking at Sydney's kit. Sydney's first match is her dad. I have manually entered Devin's Y DNA haplogroup for each of the girls. If you missed the video where I go over his haplogroup, then you can check out the video at the link above. Under the total CM column, I have it filtered by highest CMs to lowest. Sydney matches her dad with 3,574.3 CMs. Her next two matches are Karis and Peyton. She matches Karis with 1,824.8 CMs and matches Peyton with 1,779.3 CMs. The DNA Painter tool shows that level of CMs could be a grandparent, aunt or uncle, half sibling, niece or nephew, or grandchild. Obviously, in the girls' situation, they are Sydney's half-sisters. Full siblings share, on average, 2,613 CMs. Sydney shares close to 1,800 CMs with each of the girls, which falls right in the range of half-siblings. In JADmatch, there is a column for generation. Remember, we are viewing this from Sydney's perspective. A one in the generation column represents a parent or a child. In this case, a one is there for Devin, Sydney's dad. A 1.49 is there for Karis, and a 1.51 is there for Peyton. A 1.5 represents a half sibling. It could also represent an aunt or uncle or grandparent. A two in that column could represent a first cousin. The next two columns represent the X DNA matches. You will see Sydney and Peyton show the same total CMs of 187.5 in the X column. This represents how much X DNA they share. This would be the X they received from their dad, who would have received it from his mom. Girls inherit two X chromosomes, one from their mom and one from their dad. Obviously, Sydney has a different mom than Peyton and Karis, so they are matching on the X DNA they all received from their dad. 
Sydney matches to Keras with 159 CMs in the X column. Again, Keras is the only one who took the MyHeritage DNA test instead of the Ancestry DNA test. You can see the testing company listed in the source column. The last column that says overlap shows the number of SNPs or SNPs that are being used to compare the kits. If the number is highlighted in red, it means the comparison is not the best. Keras's comparison is highlighted in red. This means a lower number of SNPs are being used for the comparison, which means the comparison may not be as accurate. This explains why Keras's DNA in MyHeritage and in JADmatch shows as a lower match to the rest of the family. In order to get a better comparison, we will most likely need to have her take an Ancestry DNA test. Hopefully, she won't have a problem spitting in the tube as she gets older. So, there you have it. In a future video, I will do a deeper comparison between Peyton and Karis in JADmatch. I know some viewers have requested that and I do plan on doing that soon. If you're interested in DNA, discovery, life, and inspiration, Go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!